Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wynette and you are tuning to Cooking with Wynne. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make homemade cinnamon rolls. So for my cinnamon rolls today, I have five cups of flour, two cups of milk, half cup of melted butter, unsalted butter, half cup of sugar, two one fourth teaspoon of active dry yeast, but I'll be using an instant dry yeast today. One teaspoon of baking powder and two teaspoons of salt. For your filling, you're gonna need ground cinnamon, light brown sugar, and butter. For your first thing, you're gonna need confectioner sugar, whole milk, or you can use low-fat milk, vanilla extra, Philadelphia cream cheese, and butter. So guys, these are the ingredients I'll be using to make my homemade cinnamon rolls. If you wanna learn how to make this, stay tuned and keep watching. Guys, first thing you wanna go ahead and warm your milk and melt your butter, okay? Once you have your milk warm, you can go ahead and add it to the bowl. So I'm adding my two cups of warm milk along with my half cup of sugar and my half cup of melted butter. So you just wanna stir this. So once you mix it in for a couple of minutes, you can go ahead and add in your flour. And once you add in your flour, you can add in your yeast. So for the yeast, I'm using instant dry yeast so I can go ahead and mix it with other ingredients in this bowl. But if you're gonna be using the active dry yeast, once you add your butter, your milk, and your sugar together, you wanna add your active dry yeast over the mixture and let it sit for like 10 minutes before adding in your flour. But because I'm using the instant dry yeast, I can go ahead and mix them all together. So once you're done mixing your batter together, you wanna go ahead and cover this, set it in a warm place, let it rise for about an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with a plastic wrap. I have that cover with the plastic wrap and I'm also gonna be covering it with my kitchen towel. So I'm gonna be setting this in a warm place for an hour. I like to use my oven. So what you wanna do is go ahead and turn the oven on for about a minute or two and then turn it back off. Let your batter sit in the oven for an hour. After the one hour is up, I'll be showing you guys the next step. So my one hour is up. I'm gonna be adding my two teaspoons of salt and my one teaspoon of baking powder. And you just wanna mix them. And I'm also gonna be adding some flour on top of it. So you just wanna get extra flour on the side and sprinkle some over your dough. Mix it. And then add some flour to your table or your countertop. Whatever you're gonna be rolling your dough on. And you want to make sure you sprinkle off on flour everywhere or else your dough is going to stick to the counter and you don't want it sticking. And just add this. So once you have your dough on the counter, you can also go ahead and add some flour and then knead your dough. So once it's not sticking to your hands anymore, then that means it's ready. So mine is ready. I'll just go ahead and add flour to the table so it don't stick when I roll it. You can add this. And then I'll be using a rolling pin. I 
that flower to your rolling pin and you can start rolling. Try to scratch out the four corner because you want your dough to be like a square shape, okay? So once you have your dough all rolled out like this, it's time to get your filling ready. I have my sugar in here and I'll be adding in my cinnamon. So you just want to break the sugar apart and add in your butter. Make sure your butter is on salted butter and it's at room temperature. I have my filling all mixed. Now it's time to spread them onto your dough. You can use a spoon or you can use a spatula to um, spray your filling. I have my spatula. I'm going to be using that to spray my filling. So you just want to make sure you spray your filling as even as possible and spray it everywhere on the dough, okay? So once you're done spreading your filling onto your dough, the next step is to go ahead and roll your dough. And you just want to go gently. Roll slowly. So you see, you want to keep going like that. Like you basically rolling it into a log or into a stick. And I'm just going to add a little bit of flour on the table just so when I bring it back it don't stick to the table you just want to basically go like this so at this point you can either use a bed scraper a knife or a floss like the rope one to cut your cinnamon rolls you can cut it into any size okay so you just want to go ahead and cut it in the middle first like that and you can get rid of the ugly end you don't need it I'm gonna be using this pin and this pin and I'll also be using my Wesley farm no stick cooking spray so you just wanna go ahead and grease your pan So I'll be adding six in here and I'll be adding the rest of it in, in this pan. You can start from anywhere. So I have six here and I'll be adding the rest of it into this pan. So I have my cinnamon buns all cut up and I just added it to the pan. What I will do right now is go ahead and cover these. So you want to wrap them with plastic wrap or you can cover them with your kitchen towel. 
and you're also going to be um, putting in a warm plate so once you're done covering your cinnamon bun like this set it in a warm place for one hour this is the cinnamon rolls after proofing it so now the next step is to go ahead and bake your cinnamon rolls i'm going to put this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until it's golden brown and i'm going to be baking it in a 350 degree fahrenheit oven once my cinnamon bun is all baked and ready, I'll show you guys the final product. Now it's time to make my icing for the cinnamon roll. So the first thing you want to do is get your cream cheese. You need 4 ounces of cream cheese. I have 8 ounces here so I'm going to cut this into half. I had it sitting at room temperature, that's why it's like this. So I will just cut this into half. 1 teaspoon vanilla extra. Two tablespoons of milk and I need two tablespoons of melted butter one two and you want to whisk these together so you want to whisk these first and then add in your sugar last and add in your sugar So guys, this is the cinnamon rolls. After the 30 minutes, this is how it looks. And once you have your frosting all done, you can go ahead and add it to your cinnamon rolls. So if you're making this for the holidays, you probably just want to make the cinnamon rolls like that and have the frosting on the side. And whoever wants to add frosting to theirs, they can go ahead and add it. Not everyone likes their cinnamon rolls with the frosting because the cinnamon rolls is already sweet by itself. And the frosting is sweet so if you add frosting to the cinnamon rolls it's gonna be extra sweet most people don't like it with the frosting but if you like yours with the frosting you can leave it warm and add a frosting on top of it or you can just leave it as it is I will go ahead and add a frosting on this and leave this because I personally I don't like mine with frosting but I'm gonna just go ahead and add a frosting so you guys can see and you can add this to a Ziploc bag and drizzle it over your cinnamon rolls or you can just use your whisk and drizzle it like this. So you can get a Ziploc bag like this and just pour this in. So you see here I have the first thing in the bag and you just want to cut this open. So once you have it in the bag of day, you can just go ahead and dress it on top. And I'm just going to dress it up here. Once the cinnamon rolls come out of the oven and you add your frosting, this is how it's going to look. This is the final product. So this is a good recipe to make for the holidays. Or you can make it for breakfast or you can make it and have it whenever you feel like having cinnamon rolls. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Watch my other video. Like and share with your friends and family. And leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. And happy holidays guys. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful holiday. Stay safe out there guys. Bye.